How's it going people? This is uh, Rottweiler here and I'm bringing you another video and I'm going to show you what you need to use and what you need to have and how to prepare for the Ender Dragon fight in Minecraft. So, without further ado, let's get into this poo! Woo! Okay, so, you're going to want an anvil for any books you enchant, brew and stand to brew potions, and this is the equipment you're going to want to need. You're going to want to need to take at least one night vision potion so you can actually see the ender dragon. You're going to want to take a potion of swiftness so you can move around and not get hit. You're going to want to take strength potions for if you use your melee, we melee weapons such as your sword or your fists or whatever you want to use so you can get extra damage. You want to use splash potions of healing. Um, instant health number two um, I'll be making a video for them how to make potions later you definitely want them though you want regeneration potions as well you want at least one sword diamond preferably and pickaxe full diamond gear you want arrows eye of enders ender pearls if you don't know how to make an eye of ender, this is how to do it. I'm going to take one blaze powder, one ender pearl, and there's your eye of ender. You want golden apples, just because it gives you tons of boosts. You want any sort of building block, in case you spawn far out. You can either use an ender pearl for that, or you can build across. And you definitely want a bow. Depending on what enchantments you get for the bow, it could be easier with the arrows, so to speak. So if you get infinity, you only need to bring one arrow. But you definitely want everything enchanted, or as much as you can enchanted. So that's what I'll do now, and then I'll get back to you. So, I've got everything enchanted and got it on. Not the best enchantments, I must admit. Because I've got respiration, that's not really helpful. Projectile protect protection, not too helpful. Thorns is good though. Uh, not too good. Unbreaking's decent though. Feather falling's good in case you're up high and you get knocked off really. But this is a really good enchantment. This is probably the best enchantment I got. I got power three, unbreaking three, punch one, and infinity one. That is a really good really good bow I only got him breaking three on it on the pickaxe but you don't really need that only if you spawn underground in uh the end and smite four I think it's not too good but anyway I'll stop putting everything in my hot bar and whatnot what I'll need and then I'll be back to you okay so I've got everything sorted now this is how you find the end you want to throw an ender pearl and follow it until it goes down ground or so uh, uh and they do break so you might need a lot so i'll just get back to you when i find the end okay so the end pearls of when i throw them oh there you go you can see there straight down there you just want to go and there's the uh Stronghold. Alright, there will be a uh, silverfish spawner here, so you might just want to delete that. You will have some under pearls, I mean, eye of enders you'll have to put in, but once you put these in, that should happen. So this is when you want to take them out, put them on, maybe eat a golden apple, maybe potion up, drink a night vision potion. Strength, whatever, whatever you want to do. That's the t this is that's the time to do it. Then you just want to jump in, easy as. And then you see you can spawn here. You can either go across, or you can end up pearl. Cause that'll happen. He'll knock you off. So you probably want to end up pearl. Right. You do want to. Go around and blow all 
these up with your bow because this is how the ender dragon regenerates so I'll just quickly go do this and then I'll be back <laughs> Okay, so now all them are out the way, you've just got to fight the uh, Ender Dragon, wherever he is. Fear of loud noises. Now listen carefully. Just let go. You will experience powerful and long-lasting change. Everything from this moment on depends entirely on you. All of your five senses become much more acute. The wonderful feeling of physical and mental relaxation. Powerful effects. There you go. There you go. Easy as that. <laughs> and then he drops about 74. Uh, levels of XP, 75. Something like that. But if you want to get the Ender Dragon Egg, take a piston and a redstone torch. And then... And then use the redstone torch to power the piston, which will be on that block there, which will push the uh, ender egg, ender dragon egg. And then make sure you have this blocked off like that all the way around so you don't lose the egg. That's if you want the egg. But then just jump through the portal when you're done, and then boom. And then you back to where you begun. Or you spawn point. So, thanks for watching. So, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, please like the video if you did enjoy or it helped you, and maybe leave a sub, that'll help great, and thank you, peace.